So you can see here we have an eye and we have a Ross Biff. Now the eye is probably the prize of the Ross Biff. So that cut alone, in my mind, in food service, it's a great carpaccio cut. And a great execution of that would be to roll this very simply into cling wrap. And I've got a little bit here just on the side that I can work with. Now ideally, I would set that aside, put it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, I would temper it, bring it back, and then thin slice this on a deli slicer and then shingle it out onto some parchment paper or greaseproof paper so that it can be served as a carpaccio. We're actually going to separate this piece into two portions. So we have three very similar type portions. What we're going to do then is just take an even slice through the middle of that. And from there, again, applying pressure to each piece, I'm doing, I'm breaking down the structural fibre of this meat in order to, I can exact a very clear round shape for my meat. And you can even see very quickly, when I start to massage that meat, the difference it makes on the length. So we're actually lengthening the whole piece of meat. So just that small amount of manipulation breaks down the structural fiber and makes what I'm about to do all that more simple. So what I effectively want to do is to put this directly into a sous vide bag. So to do that, just take a small amount of uh, cut plastic, I'm just going to roll that up relatively tightly and have one end, but as tight as we can make that, the better. And we're simply going to insert that into, this is a vacuum bag where I've taken a seal straight through the middle of it. So we have two parts. So it's just one vacuum bag, and I've used the seal bar to make um, a seal down one side, and I've cut the end off. And all we're gonna do is just open that up, push that meat in, like so. And now we have, with a vacuum seal on either end, a sous vide ready product. The sous vide cooking is going to break down a lot of that connective tissue through the cooking process, but importantly deliver you that center of plate excellence where uh, an exact internal temperature is evident and important. And then finally, we're going to look at the rump cap. So the rump cap as a picanha cut is a fascinating product. Anything cooked over coals, super delicious. Really simple um, preparation instructions for this one. Uh, got a little bit of silver skin running this way, remember the fibre direction. Just going to get again our knife underneath that, just take an edge. And we're going to let the knife do all the work. There is our picanha. That is the direction of the meat fibre. So we need to cut against that. And uh, another question a lot of chefs ask me is, how do you get um, the most possible serves out of that? So I've found a technique that I think is very useful and uh, I'll demonstrate that to you right now. So to start with, we want a highly presentable steak. So we're gonna talk about normal food service type steaks, you know, around that 250, 300 gram mark. And so with that, we'll take nice decisive cuts so again, registering the direction of the meat fiber. We've got our first cut. Just bunch that up slightly. Nice type 300 gram type serves portions with this. And you notice with the knife, I'm just making the one incision and then sliding the knife through. This gives us the cleanest possible cut we can ask for. I'll just lay these out there for you now so you can see what we're talking about. Nice portions, ideal for food service, a great alternative, um, and a great new interesting steak item for your customers. And what you're left with is this, this small triangle. 
Uh, lots of different applications for this, but this is the most, this is the easiest cutting method I can describe to you. Just take a small wedge off the edge, turn it upside down, and we're gonna butterfly cut from the fat side down, not cutting all the way through. So we're just gonna take it almost to the edge. We're gonna fold that out, remove one side of the fat, to finish off with our last portion. So there you have, basically, with the exception of that small cut at the end and a little bit of trimming, we have our portions of rump cap steak.